ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு லேர்ன் பாசிட்டிவ் வித் பிரதீப் குமார் டுடே சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த டாபிக் யூனிட் ஒன் சாப்டர் ஒன் எஸ்ஐ யூனிட் திஸ் இஸ் த பார்ட் டூ வீடியோ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சி த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் திஸ் சப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் அதர் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் கிளிக் த ஐ பட்டன் ஆன் த டாப் ஆஃப் த வீடியோ யூ வில் ஸோ இட் வில் ஷோஸ் ஆல் த சப்ஜெக்ட் ப்ளே லிஸ்ட் விச் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் அண்ட் விசிட் மை சேனல் டு சி ஆல் த வீடியோஸ் and friends if you are watching my channel first time please like share comment subscribe and click the bell icon now we should go to the topic and in previous video we saw about si units the, there are seven fundamental units and two supplementary units now we are going to discuss about that so si units of si system of units that is uh, i am going to uh, divide it to three parts for comparison so physical quantity units and symbols the fundamental quantities the seven fundamental quantities are length mass time electric current temperature luminous intensity amount of substance and two supplementary quantities are plane angle solid angle so now i am going to show the units of this fundamental and supplementary quantities so the unit of length is meter symbol m mass kilogram symbol kg time second symbol s <coughs> electric electric current unit is ampere symbol a so temperature kelvin symbol is k and luminous intensity unit is candela symbol is cd amount of substance unit is mole the symbol is mol and supplementary quantities that is plane angle it unit is radian and symbol is rad or ad and solid angle the unit is steridian and the symbol is sr so these are the seven fundamental units and two supplementary units and now we are going to see about derived units we are going to discuss about 10 derived units here so the derived quantities and their units in derived quantities we are going to see about the formulas also so now i am showing this so physical quantity formula unit and symbols so the first one is area of square the formula is side into side so the unit is meter square or square meter the symbol is m square so second one is volume of cube so formula is side into side into side and the unit is meter cube or cubic meter so symbol is m cube density formula is mass by volume and the unit is kilogram meter kilogram per meter cube and the symbol is kg per meter cube next velocity uh, formula is displacement by time so the unit is meter per second and the symbol is m pi s or ms power minus 1 so the acceleration the formula is velocity by time and the unit is meter per second square that is meter or meter second power minus 2 or the symbol is m s power minus 2 or m by s square and the sixth one the momentum formula is mass mass into velocity the unit is kilogram meter per second or kilogram meter second minus power, power minus 1 or the symbol is kg m s power minus 1 or kg m by s and the force formula is mass into acceleration the unit is newton the symbol is capital n and impulse force into time the unit is newton second so the symbol is ns the work or energy the formula is force into displacement the unit is newton meter or joule so for the joule the symbol is capital j or newton m nm so next physical quantity the physical uh, sorry in physical quantity the next physical quantity is power formula is work divided by time the unit is joule second joule per second or watt so for watt we are using w or the joule per second is j s power minus 1 or j by s like this and the next topic is dimensions so what is the dimensions so dimensions is the symbol of uh, symbol of represent representing symbol of fundamental quantities namely length mass time uh, they are going to be used uh, as a symbol in capital letters like capital l capital m and capital t like for the length capital l mass capital m and time capital t respectively so like this and uh, we are going to show it on the powers so like uh, like in the formula we are going to express the fundamental quantities raised by its suitable powers so for example 
i am going to show you the, some examples of derivational uh, derived physical quantities formulas for dimensional formulas so the first one area of square the derived quantity area of square that is side into side for side we are going to use the uh, formula l uh, sorry uh, quantity l length that is length so l into l we are going to use l square so the dimensional formula of area is l square for the next derived quantity volume so the volume of cube is side into side into side so l into l into l that is l cube so the dimensional formula of volume is l cube density is the mass per unit volume so density equal to mass by volume the application dimension is m by l cube that is ml power minus 3 so the dimensional formula of the density is ml power minus 3 and the fourth one velocity is the rate of change in displacement so velocity equal to displacement time so for the displacement we are going to use l by t that is l into t power minus 1 so the dimensional formula of velocity is l t power minus 1 and the next one is acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so acceleration equal to velocity by time that is the formula so uh, for velocity we are going to use the displacement by time into uh, the time is 1 by 1 by time so in here we have two times so there are 2 t so t square so l by t square so now for that we are going to use l into t power minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula of the acceleration l t power minus 2 and the next one momentum momentum is the product of mass into velocity so momentum equal to mass into velocity for the velocity we know the formula displacement by time so mass into displacement time so m into l into uh, m into m into l by t so we are or else we are going to use m l t power minus 1 so this is the dimension formula of momentum m l t power minus 1 and the next one is force force is the product of mass into acceleration for the acceleration we are going to use the velocity by time for the velocity we are going to use displacement by time so mass by time into displacement by time there are two times so we are going to use m into l into uh, m into l by t square so that is m into l uh, into t power minus 2 so this is the dimension formula of the force ml t power minus 2 the next one impulse impulse is the product of force into time for the force we are going to use the uh, formula of mass into acceleration uh, into time so uh, as for acceleration we are going to use the velocity by time for the velocity we are going to use the displacement by time so already we have the time in multiplication and time in divide so that is going to be cancelled and mass into velocity is we are going to take and for the velocity we are going to use displacement by time so mass into displacement by time so ml by t that is ml t power minus 1 this is the dis, uh, dimensional formula of impulse ml t power minus 1 and the ninth one is work or energy is the product of force and displacement so the work of energy equal to force into displacement uh, for this we are going to use the, for the force mass into acceleration into displacement for the acceleration we are going to use velocity by time and then the mass by time into displacement by time into displacement there is the uh, two displacement and two time so m into l square by t square so we are going to use that ml square uh, ml square into t power minus 2 so the dimensional formula of work or energy is ml square into t power minus 2 so next one final one the power is the power is the rate of doing work so for the work we are going to use the power equal to work by time so the work is force into displacement and the formula is for the force mass into acceleration we use uh, for the acceleration we are going to use the velocity uh, by time like that so the formula is ml t power minus 2 uh, into l by t so that is ml square t power minus 3 so this is the displacement formula of power ml square uh, power t in, into t power minus 3 so finally where we are going to use this dimension formulas so the dimension formulas are going to use to check the dimensional correctness of a given equation and to convert the physical quantity from one system to one system of unit to another system of unit and to establish a relationship between the physical quantity in an equation and some of the convention systems are to be followed in the SI units I am going to explain that one by one 
so the first convention is when we write a unit in full the first letter should not be in capital letter for example we have to write the letter meter in small uh, small m e t r e not in the capital m capital m e t r e meter and also uh, the second example is kilogram we are going to use the uh, first letter of kilogram as in small letter not in the capital letter when we are writing in full form but when we are using the uh, symbol symbolic representation we are going to use the capital letter for that for example uh, for newton capital n jewel capital j like that and the third one only the singular form of units is to be used like kilometer km not kms like kilogram kg not K, kgs like this and there should be no full stop after the end of the observation that is uh, we don't have we don't have to write like mm dot like that uh, we have to write like mm uh, there is no dot uh, after that and the kilogram kg not after K, kg dot like this and in fifth when the temperature is expressed in kelvin we are we don't have to use the degree signature degree sign in that for example 273 kelvin we don't have to write 273 degree kelvin like that so next one the only acceptance symbol should be used that is for ampere we have to use the symbol a capital a not amp like that short form or for the second we are going to use the symbol s not the sec sec like that and seventh use of solidus or slash to be avoid but when used not more than one solidus be uh, employed that is when we are using kilo uh, sorry jewel per kelvin mole means we are not going to use that first jewel per kilo uh, jewel per kelvin per mole like that but we are going to we can use like jewel ke, uh, jewel kelvin mole power minus 1 like this we are we can use and the next one one letter space is always to be left between the numbers and the symbols of the uh, symbols we are going to use in the units so like 2.3 meter for uh, for we, uh, meter we are going to use small m uh, by giving a space of one letter not 2.3 m like that so 2.3 space m like this we are going to use and the next one is the number numerical value of any physical quantity should be expressed as p equal to a into 10 m so here a, a is the number between 1 and 10 so and m is the appropriate power of 10 so the for example velocity of light that is 2.997 into 10 to the power of 8 meter, uh, meter second power minus 1 like this and what are the multiplies uh, the next topic is multiplies and sub multiplies of units so in SI units, some units are not to be converted size to be measured certain quantity. Hence, multiples and uh, sub multiples of the basis units are used in measurements. So, the multiple, uh, the multiplication factor and what are the uh, prefix for that multiplication factor and symbols we, uh, used for the prefix. So, I am now giving the multiplication factor as 10 power 12, 10 power 9, 10 power 6, 10 power 3, 10 power 2. 10 power 1, 10 power minus 1, 10 power minus 2, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12, minus 15 and minus 18 like this. And for that we are going to take the prefix. So 10 power 12 is tera, 10 power 9 is giga, 10 power 6 is mega, 10 power 3 is kilo, 10 power 2 is hecto, 10 power 1 is dz, uh, sorry teka, 10 power minus 1 is deci, 10 power minus 2 is centi, 10 power minus 3 is milli, 10 power minus 6 is micro, 10 power minus 9 is nano, 10 power minus 12 is pico, 10 power 15 is femto and 10 power 18 is atto. So for the uh, prefix we are going to use the symbols like this, ter for tera, capital T, giga, capital G, mega, capital M, kilo, capital K, hecta, small h, deca, da, deci, small d, centi, small c, milli, small m, micro, mu, nano, small n, pico, uh, small p femto of small f and ato a so this is the end of first chapter uh, for, uh, first chapter and in next video we are going to see about second chapter in the first unit that is si units sorry uh, statics so friends please like share comment 
and subscribe to my channel thank you